Good morning, my family. Good morning, good afternoon, whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on. I want to welcome you to this place I call the mental house where we eating all kinds of fake food, looking at all kinds of AI, watching the world uh, turn like escape from New York right before our very eyes. However, we are still here. And it's a real live Truman show. So for those of y'all who know what I'm talking about, let it be known. This is the Truman Show. Ain't nothing real. Ain't nothing real. And I was wondering why Barack Obama kept saying, grow your own, grow your own. You know, and this, so this is inspired by Barack Obama saying, grow your own. And on Koshnick Road off Highway D in the county of Jefferson in Watertown, Wisconsin, it's a place called Koshnick Road. And we had a neighbor, Mr. Koshnick. Matter of fact, uh, the road was named after him. Okay? And my story time today is something that I'm grateful for and I'm thankful for this knowledge and for those of y'all who had grandmamas and great-grandmamas that lived in the South and took y'all down South every summer, y'all can verify what I'm saying. Matter of fact, I wish y'all would leave a comment below if y'all remember those days where we'd all pack up in the station wagon, get some chicken and have other kind of biscuits and snacks and we'd load up the station wagon and we'd go down South like Johnson Family Vacation. Um, we don't do those things anymore. And, um, you know, it's a long way from those safe spaces, okay? They might have been bad in one way, but they were good in a lot of other ways. So for those who remember their grandmama having a plot or having a garden when you went down south, or you had a garden, you had to help pick them weeds out of it, then y'all know the value of real food. Y'all know food that hasn't been genetically modified. Okay? Which is a very scary thing. They We're not human no more. Now, remember I always say evil, uh, Satan makes evil fair semen. And y'all get mad when... Um, a lot of y'all get mad when the elite, or I would say, there's a certain group of people who are not in harmony with nature. Y'all know who it is. I don't even have to say it. Y'all already know who they are. They are supreme narcissists on the planet, and they are cowards, right? They can't handle the truth. They can't face... Um, themselves so therefore they they create mayhem all over the world all over the planet okay and they're so arrogant and pompous they believe that they're the only ones that should exist okay so that's when it becomes dangerous and that's when you have to speak up so right now there's so much genetically mod mo genetically modified food on the planet that if we don't and if we aren't growing our own, then we're uh, just walking frauds. We're not really human. We're genetically modified from these people, these things that think it's a, a game to be playing with people's DNA and genetic structure like this. And then they'll look at you dead in your face and tell you something like, well, there's a lot of people on the earth and we can't afford to feed them. You don't think God... A, a, a nature that God force is looking out for his creation and why have you removed the creation and the creator of all the universe the sun, the moon and the stars out of the equation and put yourself there you want to tear everything apart you want to fake out and do anything for money 
And now it's gotten to the point now where we're eating garbage. I remember, and the reason why I'm bringing this up is because the Boba Tuck man, that's what we call them. So back when I was living there, I don't want to get off the subject. There was this man that used to come walking up the road all the time. A little white dude with his briefcase and papers hanging out. And he would go and visit all the farms trying to sell them. We call them Boba Tuck. Hormones to feed your calves, your cows. See? And I'm talking 35 years ago, y'all. I'm talking 40, damn it, I'm talking 40 years ago, really. So I want you to know and see how long this stuff has been on the move. See, what's wrong with us as a society, we wait too late, okay? And they're already 20, 25 years ahead of us on the game, okay? Just like the Koch brothers and all this setting up these white supremacists in the uh a GOP and in the judicial system. That was a process. It didn't just happen overnight. The Koch brothers been paying people, but nobody wants to listen. So when the Boba Tuck man will come up there and when he get to knocking on our door, remember we was the only black farmers, uh, and they didn't care for us really too much, but the fact that we were farming there were some that had peace with us, like Mr. Koshnick. Now, the Boba Tuck man will come and sell people those steroids. And then you would watch them because they would have calves or foals or they, whatever born the same time y'all yours was. And then within four months, these calves will be twice as big as yours because some some of us would just go down to the feed store and just go get the feed, the corn, and we didn't add no supplements to their um, meals from the Boba Tuck man. Now, I don't know if he really a Boba Tuck man, but that's what we called him because we know what he had in that briefcase. Wasn't nothing nice for animals. To blow them up the way. So then we would go down the road and look at all the animals that we would see that we knew was on gen, um, those steroids. Listen to this, y'all. We talking 40 years ago. What the hell y'all think y'all eating now? You just got over a holiday. I wonder how much of that poison you put in you. Is only a few people that I know. And we used to go get a half a cow or a whole cow cut up because we knew that when we raised a uh, cow eating that, and this is when I used to eat all that beef. I don't even eat that no more, but we knew what our animals were eating. Same thing with the lamb. We didn't allow him to sell us none of that stuff, okay? And now you have to know certain people in order to get your food, to get real food now. Because if you go into these supermarkets, you're not getting no real food. You're getting garbage. You're getting stuff that's, going, that's turning you into a Frankenstein. And remember what I said about Satan, and don't you ever forget it. He makes evil fair semen. Okay? I can just go and connect the dots. You want to include people um, and, and not judging people because they're gay or whatever. Then comes the transgender. Well, it's been cross-dressing and transgender all throughout my life. And it's like, okay, you know, we're not bending nothing. They, it is what it is. Live and let die. Then you it, you you got a community, an element in the community that want to take it too far. They want to go into the damn locker rooms. They want to go in there slinging and know damn well they, they never was a transgender. And they want to take advantage of that. And this is what happened with these greedy people when it comes to this food. 
Don't you ever think that it, it wasn't enough natural food and room for us. Plenty of land. And the soil, as long as it's good, you should be able to grow. But see, they done genetically modified the seeds. They're engineering the damn seeds. You see, that's devilish. That's devilish. And then you had the nerve to want to stop people that was teaching you this kind of knowledge on the planet. Whether you was a Muslim or not, Minister Farrakhan was teaching us these things. We've been known about this stuff and genetic modifying food coming down the planet. Whether you hate them or love them. His valuable and his teachings were valuable. But a lot of y'all don't know because you've allowed the media to dictate what you think and how you think. And these are the biggest, wickedest devils of all. The damn media. Because they ain't telling you nothing but, but what they want to persuade you to believe. They, they ain't telling, in other words, all of it is fake news unless it's independent. It's all fake news because they all getting paid from commercials and sponsors and uh, 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 rich people. And so they slant all the stories. It depends on who the sponsor is, MSNBC, all of them. They all full of shit. And unless you're going to deal with independent media, you ain't doing nothing. You're not uplifting your people, yourself. You know, and so when I speak on things like this, and when I look at what has happened now 40 years later, and all your food, meat in the food is genetically modified. You ain't getting no, they piecing meat together and all kinds of, of crazy stuff. I heard Willie D do a, um, a, um, you know, a content about putting feet, uh, food together. Piecing meat together. Okay, what kind of crazy madness is that? They making all kinds of stuff that's not real and they feed it to the American public as if we are nothing but human garbage disposals and pigs. That's why Barack Obama said grow your own. And I got a few avocado plants in there and I got a, you know, and I have a few plants that I would love to have more. But I ultimately know that I'm going to keep this up. And I'm going to keep the greens and the bell peppers and the jalapenos, all of them. Because you ain't going to be able to eat nothing with a face. You don't know what the hell you eat. You really don't. And that's a sad commentary for a, a so-called world leader or uh, 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 country. Hmm. Masters of disguise. That's what they are. And masters of tricknology. Hmm. Technology? No. Tricknology. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to leave it alone. But remember, all of your food and you looking at these labels and you and, and you being cautious and all that, remember, you ain't going to be able to eat nothing without a face. I mean, I'm sorry, nothing with a face unless you curated that animal yourself. But you get it? Unless you fed it from a calf and you made sure that your corn, you made sure that your feed was not full of madness and you know so now you don't find too many farmers that haven't gotten involved with some of these corporations but they're a real tight knit um, community those that refuse to have genetic engine, genetic modified corn there's only a few or uh, refuse to have genetic modified feed for their animals 
But that's what y'all better be looking at. You better stay out of these stores. And you better get away from eating anything with a face. That's all I can say. Because it ain't real. It's not. And now you are being agents in your own destruction. Think about it, family. So I'm going to go. And that's my rant for the day. If you like what you hear, please subscribe and share the channel. I'll see you in the next video.